everyone. Plant gang, look at this. Shinomalies japonica or Shinomalies. Uh, uh, there's a couple different ways that you could probably pronounce it and everybody will be excited that you said the scientific name out loud. Uh, here is the quince, uh, the flowering quince. Uh, this is used all out throughout the United States uh, in uh, shrub borders for a spring flowering shrub. Watch out though, covered in thorns. Uh, there are a few newer thornless varieties uh, that can be added to the landscape. Uh, but really, uh, these older varieties are still around quite a bit. Uh, here we got this kind of pink and white blooming one. Oranges, reds, whites, different kind of bloom colors uh, will uh, really be around uh, for just a week and a half, two weeks. And then you've got kind of a, a haystack or kind of multi-stem shrub. Uh, and the leaves are very ovate, uh, but it does have thorns in it, kind of a prickly plant. Uh, but one you definitely need to know because you're gonna see it around. So Kinomalies or Shinomalies japonica. Uh, this is the flowering quince. Uh, hardy from zones five through nine. Most of these just get about three foot high and three foot wide. There are bigger ones and smaller ones that you can find in the home landscape. A variety of different flower colors uh, are available. It's in the Rosaceae family. So they do tend to have some of the problems of the uh, all rosaceous plants. Uh, disease and insects, but it's kind of nice. I'm sitting here uh, middle of March. We got honeybees hitting this thing. It's kind of a, a breath of fresh air uh, as we round the corner and see this plant. Uh, got an Asian feel to it. And there's a good reason it is from Japan, South Korea. Pretty low maintenance. Uh, I've, I've joked and said that uh, this plant is abysmal 50 weeks of the year because it really is just kind of a, a green blob the rest of the year. Uh, but uh, right now, definitely you can see why you would plant a Japanese flowering quince. So you can do a variety of different things in the landscape. Uh, this is going to take full sun uh, to partial shade if you really want it to bloom real well. Uh, you can take the stems in early and force these just a little bit and that's not a problem. I've seen it used quite a bit as a hedge uh, and as a barrier uh, in the landscape. And even if you hedge it, it will bloom up the stem inside of the plant. Here's a landscape tip. Using specimens or groupings in the shrub border or cottage garden.